Hi, I'm Zhipong from Intel Labs. This video presents our work of CLNERV, which studies the problem of continual learning in the context of nerves. Given a set of input images, NERV trains a model based on differentiable volume rendering, so that after training, the model can render novel views unseen in the training data. In practical applications, the rendering range, appearance, or geometry of the scene may change over time, as shown in this example. Naive model retraining on all reviewed data is expensive, since millions of images may need to be stored for large-scale systems like Blockner. Updating models only on new scans results in catastrophic forgetting, making the model unable to recover previous scene appearance and geometry. Hence, it is important to design a nerve system that can continually learn from a sequence of scans using minimum storage and effectively incorporate scene changes without forgetting how to render previous scenes. Such systems have a wide range of applications, like demonstrating different versions or series of the same product, virtual real estate tour on the same house under different conditions, and render street view at different time in mapping applications. To study the problem of continual learning of nerves, we propose a new dataset called World Across Time, or WAT. WAT consists of 10 different scenes in both indoor and outdoor environments. Each scene of WAT includes multiple scans where the scene is under different weather, lightning, and geometry conditions. These scans are ordered naturally based on the captured time to form a practical sequential data for continual learning. We also propose CLNERV, an effective continual learning system for nerves. The key idea of CLNERV is to combine generative replay with advanced instance NGP architectures so that the model can be efficiently updated without the need to store historical images for handling catastrophic forgetting. At each time step T of continual learning, images from a new scan ST are captured. These new images are combined with the generative replay data rendered from previously deployed model theta t minus 1 to update the current model theta t. In practical scenarios where more storage is available, experience replay is optionally used where a small set of historical images are stored in the replay buffer mt-1 and used together during model updates. To allow a single model to handle scene appearance and geometry changes, we assign for each scan one trainable appearance embedding and one trainable geometry embedding, and use segmentation masks to filter out dynamic objects within each scan. Quantitatively, CLNERV outperforms other baselines on both standard NERV datasets and the proposed Watt dataset. It provides similar rendering quality as the upper bound model that is trained on all scans at once, but requires much smaller storage since no historical image needs to be stored during continual learning. Comparing to using only experience replay or ER in short, Using generative replay allows CLNERV to perform well even when no historical image is stored in the replay buffer. Let's look at some visualizations. Here we train a model over a sequence of scans and render the scene of each scan using the final model. NT means naive model update only on new scans. It suffers from catastrophic forgetting, resulting in extra objects not existing in the first scan being redundantly rendered since they exist in the last scan. EWC regularizes the change of important neurons to address forgetting. However, not using historical data at all makes it still not effective for continual learning of nerves. Experience replay stores historical images to prevent forgetting. However, it performs badly when only a small amount of images can be stored. The concurrent work MayoNerve uses bias sampling and complex loss design, which not only introduces extra hyperparameters, but also fails to converge on challenging scenes. CLNERV effectively addresses forgetting using generative replay, resulting in a stable pipeline and much higher rendering quality. To boost future research, we have released our dataset and benchmarking code Please come to our GitHub repo, check for more results, and give us a star if you find this work useful. Thanks.